Got a box, Amazon. You never know what you're going to get in a box for Amazon. These days, Amazon's approach to boxes, some of them is just throw it in, hope for the best. Seal it. Yeah, that's right. at least they put some paper around it, kinda, on it, yeah. Good on you Amazon, you never let me down with your crap packing. Ugh, it's a big one, it's a giant sized man thing, by the looks of things. That's a good idea. There you go, not bad. This has got tons in it. This has got just every every man thing story you're ever going to need. Man thing on like swap thing doesn't really have a character as such, but he's a blank slate of a he's a, he's a horror character that needs a supporting cast. So we've got his uh, going on here. Nice black and white Marvel comic. I was torn about the Marvel black and white comics because I know that some lovely stuff in them, but I also know that they were created to flood the market and get rid of the competition, the little guys. So, uh, you know, what's that happened? They stopped producing these themselves. But, you know, the work and the creators that are working on them can't be blamed for. Ridiculous corporate practices like that. No, Kazar. There we go. Astonishing tales with Kazar. Be amazing. Join Bashima doing the artwork. So, where else have we going? You've got a few Kazars with my thing in it. But yeah, there's lots of different kind of styles of artists working on this. Get a rich buckler in here. And a much maligned, but underrated rich buckler. Jim Starlin. There we go. Who else have we got in here? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Valmeric. There you go, that shows you the double page. These, these omnibuses look for double page spreads. They're no good. Uh, you're losing so much in the in the gutter there. This was the cost effective way of getting all of these stories together. Just sold all my original Man Things comics years back. It's all very surreal and, and weird stuff. All the, all the Man Things stories. I know we're talking. Uh, Mike Plug was always my favourite artist on Man Thing. <laughs> he just he had that kind of like easy horror comic quality about the work that he did, and you can see it here. Nice double page spread there, not too ruined by the gutter because they look better as you get to the centre of the books. Ah, uh, nobody dies better. Steve Gerber and Mike Blug. Loads of good stories in here. All about the supporting cast in many ways. It's just a catalyst, this character. One thing's just a catalyst for things to happen. Uh, sometimes he's uh, barely even that. It's Chris Claremont writing himself into the story here. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. It's a nice book. 